what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel thanks for tuning in ryan lopez here nano cap gems welcome back new subscribers and if you haven't yet make sure to subscribe we are on the road to 500 subscribers so lots more content coming your way and today we're going to be doing a very special video a look into a project that caught my eye that looks very interesting and that is called Arkma. So let's just get straight into it here. Um, let's start off with their Twitter, um, Arkma Network and just an overall, a brief overall uh, introduction to this coin. It's a privacy coin. The Genesis block was in 2018. So it's been around for a little bit over a year. Um, I think it's just really interesting. Um, I, I like the logo a lot. That's really cool. Um, you can check out more on their Twitter here. Before we get more into the project, let's just take a look at just the pure technicals and look at the prices and things like that. So, and one thing to keep in mind, this coin does not have accurate info on coin market cap for some reason. It's a little bit off with the circulating supply, but, uh, if you go to coin gecko, it's all correct there. So. Current market cap is around $80,000, which I think is really good. Uh, it's, that to me is an optimal low cap coin. Looks pretty nice. It's on some decent exchanges on Trade Ogre, um, which I think Trade Ogre season is gonna be coming maybe in like 2020, 2021, something like that. So you gotta get ready for Trade Ogre season. And uh, let's just look here at let me just do market cap, max. And it looks like the all-time high was about 800,000. Not bad. And current market cap, about 80,000. Uh, current price action looks like it's trickling downwards. But, um, you know, alts, in my opinion, I think they're kind of bottoming out right now. Circling supply around 9 million. Current uh, Total supply is 50. So pretty kind of uh, reasonable supply numbers, nothing too out of the ordinary. And moving along, let's just take a look at the price action on Trade Ogre. Um, so it looks like they're kind of some uh, upward surges. There's one there, one there, one here. The most recent being in August. Um, some of the prior ones didn't seem to last too long. There's just kind of like a huge buy and then they just kind of faded down. Another one here. Um, this last big buy, it kind of trickled down a little bit slower, um, but looks like we're right back to these this level, which it's been at for um, like the average price throughout its time here on Trade Ogre, right around like 100 and whatever, 50 Satoshis-ish, um, approaching 200 Satoshis around there. But, um, I think that price action looks per fairly normal. Um, nothing really too out of the ordinary, but you can check out more on Trade Ogre. And continuing on now to the website here. So Arkham it has a really interesting name. It has a really interesting name and it has a really interesting uh, sphere or whatever that kind of shape would be called. And I like it because it's a privacy coin. It's like a crypto note fork. Uh, it's based off of the Monero code base, but it's been customized to its itself. What is Arkma? Decentralized public blockchain, fully open source. And there's six devs, which I think is a plus. Six devs. That That is great. And they just forked to, it's it's called Random Arc. So it's like their own variant of Random X. So if you follow Monero, um, Monero it, it should be happening actually like right now, I think, or like very soon within like this morning it was like 100 blocks to go so um they're just about to fork over to random x on monero a lot of coins are updating to like their own random x kind of um variations so arkma is on their own random x variation and you can see some of the team members a lot of them are kind of anonymous which i think is great um and they also they also have a presence in the chinese markets which i think is actually a pretty big plus uh, China is really big. You know, I'm going to turn my heater off really quick here. I think China is just like huge right now in crypto. Like that's just, so to have a presence in China, definitely a big plus. 
they're on this BISQ thing. I think that's a really cool one. That's like super like anonymous exchange thing. I don't know too much about it, but I looked into it before. It was pretty interesting. Um, moving along, Arkma paper. So their white paper I thought was pretty pretty cool. Um, where's the one where it tells the acronym? Okay, here we go. What does Arkma stand for? Anonymous Real Quality Master of Algorithms. Man, that sounds really intense. I like it. I like that. I like that acronym. The two founders were Arctros and Malbit, um, the two devs. But it has all the information in here. You can you can take a look at it more. Um, I have downloaded their GUI wallet and their CLI wallet. Both work work great. You can uh, download their wallets and kind of take a look for yourself. And um, this is just an article I was reading about how they forked over to their new random arc. And they actually have a uh, they have a, they have a medium. You can check them out. Their most recent one is kind of. This, this is their update to uh, Arkma Devil's Randomness, their last fork. There's one medium here where, okay, this one in October. This is October. So this is kind of telling about their like experience in the Chinese markets. I think they might be on a Chinese exchange, which, which I think is pretty cool. Um, you can read more about it on their medium here, but um, they have a presence in China. I think that's awesome. That's huge, I think. China's going to be a big player, I think, going forward for just like cryptocurrency, which I think they already kind of are, you know, and you can read on their Bitcoin talk. And right here, they um, initially, I think it was like a 15% pre-mine and they started out in 2018. And just recently with one of their hard forks, they actually burned the pre-mine and there's a video of them doing it, which I think was great. Um, and they only kept right here, 350, 150. So it's a little bit over 1% of the pre-mine that it was reduced to from like 15% all the way down to like one, 1.148%. I think that's great. And it's good just to have a little bit of backup funding, which, you know, that that shows right here. So yeah, I think burning the pre-mine was a great move. You can look more into that there. This is kind of like their mining kind of stats. You can check this out if you want, if you're into mining and stuff. Um, looks like the hash rate's kind of trickling downwards. And per month revenue, $3 a month. But it, these, sometimes it's not accurate, the the stats. And the, these coins are like the prices, it's an $80,000 market cap coin. I mean, come on now, you know. Um, so you can read more about the Bitcoin talk here. Primon burned at hard fork number 13. Chinese things on here. That's cool. This is more. Okay. I searched for GPU random X. Loki, Arkma, Wow, Narrow, Dynasty coin. That's what it's saying that have random X currently. I don't know if that's accurate. Does Loki, is Loki on a random X? Is Wow, Narrow on random X? I didn't know that. They also have a thing called Arkma Labs, which I thought is kind of cool. It's like a kind of like a blog or something like that. Um, they kind of make some posts and things. This is like their video. They posted the video on here. You can check it out. Um, I think this is pretty cool. Arkma Labs. That's like their kind of, yeah, it's like their blog kind of. And the community pretty active on Discord and uh telegram you could check them out overall I'm, I'm very i'm very interested in this coin it really catches my eye i like that it's a it's a privacy coin um it's like its own its own kind of twist of a privacy coin it's been customized it's been modified um one also one thing i really like to okay on the bitcoin talk um there's about 13 pages here so you know you can you can go through them but uh, if you kind of go through each one, they start doing like these updates, which I think is kind of cool. Here we go. I like these. They do these like look at the Arkema status report for December, January, and they kind of just go through everything that they did. There's like a little update to the community. Here's another one for January, just kind of updating everything that they did. Here's another one for February. And, you know, here's some more updates. I, I like that they, they just post the updates 
um, in a nice, easy to read format right on their Bitcoin talk. I think that's really cool. It just shows that they're like still progressing, still active and everything. I'm actually very bullish on privacy coins in general, especially some of these like uh, crypto note forks um, and ones that are just have that kind of something really interesting. They're like uh, constant development, constant progress. I mean, Monero right now, it's like a one billion dollar market cap around. I think it's kind of went down a little bit, but some of these coins like Arkma, which is 80,000 market cap. Um, wow, narrow is like about 80,000, 100,000. Uh, wow, narrow, it's like kind of like a meme coin. That's the only thing I don't like is the devs seem like they're just kind of like, what is the vision of wow, narrow, you know? But I mean, I have downloaded the wallet and I think it works good. It's pretty cool. It's like kind of got like little jokes and memes and things. Um, not bad. Um, Italo coin XTA, another one that's like a uh, crypto note fork, uh, which I spoke about in some previous videos. That's a pretty interesting one. Proof of work. Um, the dev is doing updates on that. That's one to keep on the radar. I think the market cap is like 30,000, 35,000. So these are like really low market cap, kind of like just beginning stage coins. I think that's pretty much it for like ones under 100K. Then you start kind of getting into the more like, uh, you know, 200, 300,000 with. Uh, CCX is one that's really kind of interesting. Keep on the radar. I think it's like around 700,000 market cap. There's a lot. There's a lot of them, but um, which ones are going to boom? Are they going to boom at all? Who knows, really? But I think right now for the current price and the the dev team of uh, there's six devs and they you can reach them on uh, Discord if you have any questions at all about anything. Um, I think it's a solid project. I really do. And I'm I'm very, very bullish on Arkma. Very bullish on Arkma. I can see this coin. You know, I hate to try to do these like future price projections, but I mean, because it's really just unknown. I mean, right now the price is just trickling down like this, but I could really see this thing going uh, definitely past its all-time high of 850 thousand dollar market cap in the bull run i can easily see this passing 50 million market cap that would be like five dollars a coin i could see this going to five dollars a coin and beyond really it's hard to do these kind of just futuristic price projections. And who knows, I could be completely wrong. <laughs> um, but Arkma, definitely one to keep on the radar. It's for, for its market cap right now. Currently, um, look, it has $800, $850 volume. And a lot of people don't really like, uh, it's just kind of under the radar. Some people don't like it. Um, I was trying to look at YouTube videos about it, Arkma, and um, that dude Savage Mine. He like made some uh, some videos, but he's not really into like low market cap, super low market cap coins. Um, it seems like it, he just doesn't kind of get excited over it. Um, I think his coins that he likes are like Ryo, um, CCX, Swap. And he likes Arrow, A-R-W, that, that other one. Those are like his coins at the moment that he's like really kind of passionate about. I mean, everybody has their own like, their own coins, their own like ones that they like, you know. But um, I don't know. All right. So I really like Arkma's kind of design and just the randomness, like Arkma. It's very abstract. And the uh, its logo is pretty cool. I think that's pretty much it. Um, you know, and all these review, you know, these reviews and things that I do just talking about coins, like I don't get paid for any of these things or I'm just doing ones that, um, that I think are interesting ones that are interesting to me and that I will want to talk about. And I came across Arkma maybe like a month ago and I was just kind of like, Hmm, 
then I revisited it like this week, the past week, and I, I just things were clicking. I, I was liking what I was seeing again, and I just I, I want to I, I just want to kind of get into it more. Um, and sometimes I feel like that happens with coins. You'll kind of like you'll hear about one or you'll see it, and then you'll be like, okay, or like, oh, I'm not really into that one. I don't like it. And then um, a month will go by, two, three months, and then you'll you'll like revisit it. And then you'll be like, you know what? I think it's a good, I think I do like that project. I think that's pretty much it. Uh, if you guys have any questions or anything, you know, uh, there were some people who commented some pretty cool coins from uh, before on my last video. Um, let's see, if you haven't yet, give me a follow on Twitter. Um, and it looks like these are the guys from, you know, look at that. Trump. <laughs> um oh you know what one thing that kind of weird that happened with uh i just did a review on cpu chain i posted my video of cpu chain in the telegram and i you know they i guess they like deleted my video and they they booted me and i said hey guys it was there must have been a miscommunication and the dev never replied and there's only one other admin who blocked or who I think booted me and I asked him if everything's okay. And then he just blocked me. It's like, all right, well, I mean, I was just trying to help out. You know, I kind of liked the project. I wanted to make a video about it. You guys didn't have to like block me and stuff. Um, so whatever, um, I guess it happens. Miscommunication. Oh, on my lat on my last video here, live on said Mimble Wimble coin. Definitely got to look into that one. ECA, okay, that, that's already on my radar for sure. Great coin, I think. Great community. But uh, Mimble Wimble coin, I'm just seeing, never heard of that one. Never heard of that one. I got to take a look into that. And some other guys on my uh, last video, they recommended D Row is one that's really kind of you know, some people like that. D Row. Um, this other guy recommended D4RK Dark. I was taking a look into it, but it didn't look too much, but all right, I got to chop this video up and stuff because uh, I know I went way just over my time limit. I, I try to keep it to like 15 minutes. Oh, one last thing, whatever, maybe, maybe I'll just, maybe this will be a long one. Who cares? Um, Dollar Vigilante. I don't know if anybody follows him. Um, man, his stuff is so interesting. His videos are so interesting, just like libertarian, voluntarianism, um, just kind of like anti-government, but just kind of truth, truth speaking. Really recommend, if you guys haven't yet, check him out. Um, his videos, super cool content. Um, check out Dollar Vigilante if you want to just be a little bit smarter. Um, and all right, I guess... Uh, that's it for today. So feel free to leave a comment, a like, tell me what you think about Arkma. Uh, are you in Arkma? Um, the community, I mean, I wouldn't say it's a huge, huge community at the moment, but I do think it's growing. And um, I do see very positive outlook, very, very positive future outlook for it. Um, and what I say, it's a good buy here. Yes, I would say it's a good buy here, but you know what? Don't take my advice. You got to do your own research. You got to do your own research. Uh, but if I was looking for coins to get into right now, uh, if you're if you're into privacy coins, low cap coins, really interesting things going on, Arkma one to keep on at the top of your watch list for sure. For sure, this coin, I I I can really see this coin booming, booming. Um, so definitely keep it on your watch list, keep it on your radar. And like I said, could be a good coin to start accumulating if you're into these low cap privacy coins, which is kind of the ones I'm like just into right now. And I it just, uh, they interest me. They interest me. Just the algorithms, the mathematics behind it, just the, the cryptography, really cool stuff, really cool stuff. And also, if you guys haven't yet, uh, make sure to give me a follow on Instagram, or A N P 3 z and on Twitter. 
let's go to the profile here ry4n underscore crypto that's it for today i hope you guys uh hope everyone has a great day and any questions comments anything feel free leave it a question below and subscribe like comment and i will see you guys next time bye bye and have a good one